Hello students, welcome to the BSc 3rd Sem Basic English course. I am Dr. Vidya Patil, serving as Assistant Professor of English at Government First Grade Women's College, Bita. In today's video, I will be introducing you to the various topics which you will be studying in the third unit of your textbook. The title of your third unit is Women First. The lessons which have been prescribed in this unit will inspire you, especially the girls, to become spirited, self-reliant and fearless. So students, let us now have a look at what we will be studying in the third unit of your textbook. The third unit is titled Women First. This unit focuses on acquainting the students with some few examples of fine paragraph writing. Two essays have been given as examples. These essays are of narrative and analytical or critical type of paragraph writing. The two essays which have been included in this unit will enable students to learn the skills of writing an intelligent and coherent paragraph on any given topic. But more importantly, it will inspire the girls to develop an independent and courageous spirit. The titles of the two lessons which have been included in the third unit are Indian women are never taught how to be alone. And the other lesson is titled A Life in Memoirs by Ismat, which is a book review written by Nishat Zaidi. In addition to these two lessons, this unit will also familiarize you with the style of paragraph writing and transformation of sentences. So students, let us now look into what you will be studying in each of these different topics. The first lesson which is titled Indian women are never taught how to be alone. This lesson is written by Kavita Rao. She tries to give us an insight into the discriminatory upbringing of a girl child in our country. She narrates her own experience of managing her life alone when her husband had gone abroad on work. In this lesson, Kavita Rao reflects upon how girls are brought up to rely on others. Girls are never taught to take independent decisions and are always dependent on someone or the other in every phase of their life. The author also tries to show or tell us about how our society is completely insensitive to the woman, especially the single woman. The woman who is alone is considered to have a lonely and miserable existence. She points out that the uh, joy of solitude of a woman is very essential and that a woman who is alone can also be happy. This lesson or essay gains a lot of relevance in the modern times due to the rising number of single women in our country. The second lesson is titled A Life in Memoirs by Ismat. This is a book re review which has been written by Nishat Zaiti. This lesson is a review of a memoir which has been written by a 20th century woman writer, Ismat Chuktai. She is still today called a progressive, revolutionary and free-spirited writer and woman. She was born in a Muslim family in pre-independent India. Ismat Chuktai's personality and life epitomized the rebellion of a woman. She was constantly in quest to live her life in her own way. She is an inspiration for all women. Ismat Chuktai was a fearless woman who raised several radical questions about the narrow perceptions of religion, culture and gender which govern the Indian mindset. Through her life and writings, Ismat Chuktai defied the confining boundaries which were imposed by society. We as women can learn from her life to create our own unique identity and follow our own path. 
Another aspect which we'll be studying in the third unit is paragraph writing. A paragraph can be described as a group of several sentences. These sentences are well organized, complete, correct and concise in nature. They are combined together because they focus on one subject theme or on a central idea. We'll also be dealing with various other aspects of paragraph writing such as how to write a topic sentence, how to present supporting ideas, how to add details and how to conclude a paragraph. Another topic which you will be dealing with in the third unit is transformation of sentences. In English, there are mainly three types of sentences, simple sentence, compound sentence and complex sentence. A sentence which has only one clause is called a simple sentence. A complex sentence has one main clause and one or more subordinate clauses. A compound sentence has more than one main clause. In this unit, we will be learning how to change a simple sentence into a compound sentence or a complex sentence. So students, after reading the lessons from this unit, I'm sure you all will be inspired to become in strong and independent women. I'm also sure that you must have now got a fair idea of what you will be studying in the third unit. I hope you like this video. Thank you.